Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome, welcome everybody to our Job Nimbus 101 workshop. I'm so excited to have you here today. Uh, last week we talked, uh, introduced you to the Android app. Today we're riding that gravy train and, ke and keeping <laughs> it going. We're gonna delve into the Android app in more detail because we know you are busy and we wanna make sure that you have everything at your fingertips that you need, that when you get to the job, you have the information you need on the client and you can start working on that job and look like a pro. As you all know, I'm Dan and today we have our Dev Android Manager with us. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. My name is Dustin Lewis. As Dan said, I'm the Android Dev Manager uh, and I'm really excited to be talking about one of my favorite topics, which is Android, right? <laughs> So let me pull up our app here. Uh, we are going to be talking today about contacts, managing your contacts, accessing them, and photos. So I want to go over a couple of things that you can see in the app today. Uh, and then I want to dive into some of the upcoming changes we're going to make to the home screen to make it even more streamlined. So if you want to access your jobs uh, on the home screen, if you have one scheduled for the day in your today's schedule, you'll see it right up here at the top. And you can tap and go right into it. Also down in my leads, you'll see uh, and have access to it there. Now there are two places right now. Now what we're working on and what's gonna be coming soon is above the today's schedule, we're gonna add another section up here, right between home, right under home, and it's gonna be our quick links. So quick links uh, for a list of jobs, a list of contacts, a list of estimates. Uh, and in addition to those quick links, we'll also have panels for those things as well. My contacts, my jobs, and have that coming. So just quick ways to access your contacts and jobs from your fingertips, right? So let's get into let's get into the details of a contact or job. Yeah. So before you even get to the job, you need to know what is going on. That way you can effectively manage that project. And using the Android app, you can easily get all that information. If we need to look at the contact details, all we need to do is click on details. Now we'll pull up all the contact details that we need. It'll pull up a who the, a where they live, their phone number, all of that. And if we need to update anything, we can update it right here from your mobile device and click save. Now we all know that to manage any project effectively, communication is key. Communication between you and your teammates, communication between you and your clients. So we wanna make sure that you have that communication right here on your mobile app. If you scroll down to activity, you'll see all of that. You'll see everything that's ha happening to the contact or the job in Job Nimbus. You'll also see notes like down here that you're sending to your team members or your team members are uh, talking amongst themselves. It'll all be all here in the contact or jobs file. You can also see emails that have been sent from your client to your company or vice versa. It's all right here in the activity section of your contact file. It makes it super easy to know exactly what's going on and keep everyone on the same page. Not only that, so if you scroll up above activity, we'll see the quick menu. This will allow you to get the lists of a, let's say if you need to create a check, fill out a checklist, as soon as you get to the site, you'll see the list of all of your checklists. Uh, you can see the lists uh, or a photo gallery by clicking on photos, or you can create your own notes or tasks. Now clicking on the blue plus button opens up a menu where you can add a new job, a new task, or a new note. It's just an easy way for you to add things to your contact. Now talking about quick and easy, we have your quick action buttons right up here. If you need to contact or call your client, for any reason, you can click on this phone button and that will pull up your phone app so you can call them. Or if you want to email them, just click on this message button here and that will open up an email for you to email your client. Now, if you're sitting at home and you're like, hey, I need to know where the site is. I have no idea where I'm going. Hmm. No worries. Clicking on this navigation button will open up your navigation app so it'll and it will show you the quickest and fastest, easiest route to the site so you can get there on time and look like a pro. And once you get to the site, what's next? You gotta actually start the job. And we make that easy by adding the camera button right here so you can, as soon as you step out of the car, you can start taking pictures. Yeah, so you're on site, you're getting the pictures. 
Uh, you want to take a look at some of the ones that you've already added to the contact. So down here in the quick menu, right, you've got your photos. It takes you to the photo gallery. And you can see all the photos that you've uploaded and added to this job. Now from this screen, you can filter by uh, the attachment category. If you're on this screen, you can also add from your camera roll, right? If you tap the camera plus, you can go into your device's photo gallery and add, upload your photos right from there, or again, go right into the camera. So there is some sharing functionality and selecting here. I'll get into that after, but what I wanna dive into right now is when you're on this photo, uh, taking a look at a photo, in the top right, there will be an edit button where you can get into annotations. So uh, let's quickly jump down here and crop uh, into some of this. I wanna focus on a specific part. So I've got the crop tool up, I tap crop, now I've got the area I want. Um, with the finger tool, I can kind of zoom in. Now that won't be saved. Uh, if I zoom in there, that's just to help me when I'm making annotations. Uh, so I'll zoom in a little bit. Let's, I want to put, a circle around this and that's a lot bigger than I wanted so on the top I can uh, undo that really quick let me try to get I, I'm talking about this area right here I want to point out some damage for for one of my my uh, crews and let's let's actually also just really make it apparent like oh <laughs> not there it's it's right it's right there so um, you can even type you can even add some text in here so uh, yeah there's some damage there's some damage. <laughs> so, with that there, it's very apparent, right? But you can do whatever you need to do on here uh, with the annotations. And then when you've got it like you want it, just tap to save in the top right. Uh, and now this new annotated photo is uploaded as well to this contact. Uh, so you could share immediately from here with this button in the bottom right here, uh, in the bottom left, excuse me, or back in the gallery you see this newly added annotated photo now you can get into a select mode here by long pressing on a photo uh, you can also access it from the top right that select mode and you can just tap and select all the photos you want uh, and then you can tap share in the top bar to share that out so a quick way to annotate and share your photos uh, one more thing i wanted to point out shifting gears here in the profile page uh, in the navigation in the bottom right if you are having a problem with the app, you can call support directly by tapping on one of these areas, this call support. You can email them, you tap in on email support. But we also love your feedback and want to know if you have a suggestion, a way to improve the app. Uh, if you have feedback for my team, please send us your feedback. You can tap right here to launch your email client on your phone and that feedback will come directly to us. Yep. Yeah, we want to make sure that the mobile app is everything you've dreamed of and make it make sure that you have the uh, resources you need to do your job correctly. And speaking of resources, we actually have a whole bunch of resources to make sure that you are the star role in your company. Have you heard about The Crew? The Crew is an amazing event where you can come to our office and you get to rub shoulders with like-minded individuals in your industry. Find out what they're doing to level up their company. Find out what they're doing in Job Nimbus to really help them out. Not only that, you can talk to our development team and tell them exactly what you want to see in the app, what's working for you and what's not. If you want more um, if you want to learn more about the Android app, we're going to keep this going and next week we're going to be talking about checklists or forms in the mobile app, how you can, once you get to the job, how you can fill those out. We're going to be especially talking about the top three checklists that you're, you should be using in your company to help reduce your site visits. If you're in the web app, not, not in the mobile app, but in the web app, you'll see these two buttons in the bottom corners. The question mark will be in the left corner. And that, when you click on that, that'll pop up with a whole bunch of resources for you, notifications, announcements, everything you need right there. Now, if you want to chat with our support team, click on the chat button, which will be in the bottom right. It'll pull up a window where you can chat with our support team and they're happy to help you. Now, if you like what you have been seeing today and you want more of this, go to our YouTube channel. Our previous webinars are on that. Not only that, we have a series of building a better business. And if you have someone that should be here watching about the Android app, but isn't, we also have a video to introduce them 
to the mobile app and get them excited about using it. So go ahead and go to our YouTube channel and check out all the videos we have for you. Now, if you wanna delve more into Job Nimbus and really learn the ins and outs, we have a whole bunch of articles for you on our support center at support.jobnimbus.com. So go ahead and go there, check out our articles. And if you really just need to talk to someone, need some help with Job Nimbus, you can give us a call or email us at any time. Like I said, our support team is happy to help and they are so excited when they get a call or an email from you because they really want to make sure that you are the hero. We really want to know your questions about Job Nimbus, about the mobile app, about anything I should give the caveat of Job Nimbus related. <laughs> we can help you possibly in life situations, but you might not want to take <laughs> our advice with that. So anything Job Nimbus related, give us your questions and we're happy to help you. We will take the questions as they come. It looks like we have a question here already uh, about the Android app. Um, is the Android app glitch free and not in trial? Yes. <laughs> the Android app is not uh, no longer in trial. It's on the Google Play Store. Uh, you might be seeing that you, there are two different apps here. Uh, there, the old app is a blue background with white fins. If you're on the old app, you'll notice that the app that we showcase today is nothing like what you're using. Go ahead and use the new app. It's white fins, a white background with blue fins, and it is amazing. So our Android app and our iOS app are out of beta, and you can find them on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Yeah. Um, well, Ashley, is there a highlighter function when editing a photo? That's a great question. There's no, there's no real highlighter type functionality you might be used to in like a Mac preview, right? Yeah, let's go into a photo and pull up this picture again. Let's edit it, yeah. And um, so we have we have this button, uh, the line button mm -hmm. here, which you can line and you can underline something or free draw, mm -hmm. whatever you want. But uh, highlight over like a highlight marker. Now we don't. No, I believe on the iOS side they had like it, iOS had a built-in component that Apple provided that they could use. Yep. So I believe it's on iOS. On Android, we had to build this out custom, and we don't actually have that yet. But I'll take that feedback to the our product manager and a team and see what, what we can do. Yeah, that is great feedback. Thank you. Let's see here, um, how do you add a job to a contact in the app? That is another great uh, another great question here. So we can, we can easily show that here. So we have, if you have jobs uh, enabled already, uh, you can add those jobs to a contact. I can't, don't, oh wait, no, that's a job. Another thing uh, to note is that you can easily tell what's a job and what's a contact by the icon here. If it's a wrench and screwdriver, it's a job. So if you go into Jim Bob here and go onto the contact, yeah, Travis. That, that's an easiest way, easier way to get it. Uh, but if it's a kind of a avatar person, it's a contact. Mm -hmm. Then in the plus menu here, you can just add a contact right from there, right? So you're on your job, you have the plus menu open, tap tap a new new contact or job that way. Yep. So we're you can also add another job. Yes. Respectively. So yes. it's super easy to add the job right there on the go. Great question. Let's see, with company cam integration, can we zoom on a picture in job nimbus? see here so that that's a great question actually i do not know that because uh you take the pictures in company cam and you a company cam already allows you to annotate on those pictures in their own app and then they share that picture that you took with their app and annotated in their app they share that with um the job nimbus app yeah but any any company cam integration like any photos that come over to a contact or job from the company cam integration, you can access it the same way in your photo gallery yeah. here in the JN app. And when you're editing it, yeah, you can you can zoom in, you can uh, you know move your crop around, so you can crop and zoom and do all that stuff in the photos that come over. That's awesome. Okay, Let's see here another question. I'd see if my crew takes tw ten photos in the field using the app, how can I recognize the order of the photos? before and after photos of repairs. I want to send a client and them to a client in a specific order. 
Ooh, that is a good question. And see here, are these always kind of the same 10 photos that you're gonna be taking? Like they have to take a picture of a siding, a roof, before and after? Because if so, what I would suggest you use is a checklist. And then you can show the order of those pictures, like number one, number two, number three, uh, all the way up to however many, and then have an after section in that checklist so you can sh easily show the before and after. Otherwise, um, when you take photos, see here, and this is something that you could answer. Yeah. Uh, do they do they upload in the order that you're ta you take them? I believe they do. They but. do, yeah. And so, and they'll be segregated. Like we have headers here for like today, the date that you're taking them, right? But they'll be in the order even in a single day. So... And, and when these load up, if you want to send the, in fact, let me long press, like, let's go into our uh, select mode here. Yeah. You can even tap on a day. So, oh, I took these before photos on March 15th. So I select that. Here, let me go. Let me go back here real quick. Yeah, our internet is a little bit slow with my phone. So it's, <laughs> it's not really loading those pictures. Yeah. So, but you can, when you go into select mode, you will select, uh, you can actually tap on the, the header. So, oh, hey, I took all the before photos on this date and it will select all of them in there and you can share those. And then, oh, now the after photos are right here on this date. So I can just select all the after photos and go into those. You mentioned a checklist. Where do you go to create a checklist? That is a great question. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for a, that. You, so checklists are, in Job Nimbus, they're called forms. And they are, um, they're created in the web app and then they're filled out in the mobile app. Uh, so when you go into the web app, you'll go to your settings, you'll see forms on the left side of the screen. Click on that, you'll be able to add a new form, create a checklist, and then it'll be filled out in the field on the mobile app. Yeah, so in the mobile app, once it is created there, that's this form section right here that you'd see on a contact or job that you could you can, and then you can complete it right on yeah. the on the mobile app when you're out there. So. Yep, and it's a great way to keep in communication. As soon as it's filled out and saved, it's a, they'll be able to see it in the a back in the office, so everyone is on the same page. Let's see yeah. here, another one uh, we got is how to tag others on Note. So let's say and let's let's add a note here. Yeah, so that y mentioning people on notes is implemented on iOS. We are actually working on that now on Android and it will be coming with our notifications release, yep. our upcoming notifications release. Yep, uh, once it's released, you'll be able to tap in uh, the at symbol and a list of all of your team members will show up. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to choose who's, uh, who's gonna be notified and then type in your note. I'm trying to figure out if I need the Job Nimbus mobile app or the Job Nimbus legacy app. What's the difference? You have an iOS phone. I would suggest you use the Job Nimbus mobile app, not the legacy app. Um, the the one that's the white background with the blue fins, not the blue background with the white fins. Uh, we're doing every we're updating the mo new mobile app, uh, and they're actually getting rid of the old legacy app here pretty soon. So make sure you download the new mobile app. Definitely, yeah. And and when you get on the new app, remember that feedback session. If there's something uh, for your workflow that you're needing. Uh, send that feedback over, right? So the plan is to to port over all the features, right? Yep. But right now it's just a roadmap and we're doing one at a time as we can. Yep. So yeah, let us know, leave that feedback, let us know what you wanna see in the mobile app. I work with a builder that has multiple project managers. Can I have multiple contacts under the builder contact? Multiple contact, you can have multiple related contacts to a contact, so yes. I believe the answer to that will so, be yeah. yes. So you just, uh, all you need to do is relate all of those contacts together mm -hmm. and they'll be kind of like a group together and you can add them to a job. How do you search for an address or contact in the new app? So we're working on a couple of things, uh, an enhanced search, but right now if you go to home, you can kind of look at your leads in on the search. You can come in here and search for, oh, uh, let's see, let's see, Jim Bob, and you'll get a result uh, list with contacts and leads, you know, contacts and jobs, and you can go through that list uh, as well. Yep, and then when you, let's see, if I, when you click on it, it'll take you to the contact file. Also with the search function, uh, you'll be able to see all of the contacts that are around you. 
So as you see right here, uh, we're right here in JobNim's headquarters and we have two contacts that are right there right next to us. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to see which contacts are in your area, which makes it super nice when you're on the go. How to upload files. Now you can upload files using the iOS right now and that is coming out on the Android here pretty soon. The ability to upload files from your mobile device to, uh, to the mobile app. And it is, it will be different from the, um, on the iOS, uh, when you open a file, you'll see they have that share icon, which is like a little square with an arrow on it. And when you click on that, it'll allow you to share. On the Android app, we'll be using the Android native, a way to share. So just keep an eye out for that. And you will be, able, once the documents come out, you'll be able to sh share files. It, it will be after that. So the documents is for viewing the first uh, version of it, viewing all your documents. And then we're working on, on some other stuff. And then it'll be uh, on the roadmap after that. Awesome. Can I create a form that has before photo, after photo? Yes, you can actually. Um, I would I, I would suggest that if you do something like that, because as soon as you submit a form, it is saved and you can't go back and edit it, but you mm -hmm. can save a form as a draft and go back. So you can definitely create a form uh, that will have a before photo where they take a before photo and then after they're done, they take an after photo right after it. And you'll be able to see all those photos there. That was the exact use case that we built forms for. So that that is perfectly what it's intended for yep. right now. Can I filter the maps contacts to person? I'm an admin, so I'm seeing everyone and everything, not seeing the way the filter, oh no. So on map, you can't filter by like user. Is that like a job Nimbus user? Is that By your team members? Is yeah. that what you wanna be filtering them for? That's what it sounds like. Yeah, let us know. Yes, by team member. Um, yeah, right now you can't do that. Not right now. So that's great feedback. Let me talk to Hiram, the, the product manager on it, and we can work through that. That's great. Can company cam scan docs be integrated to the docs tab in Job Nimbus? What I would suggest you do is if you scan in a photo using company cam, download it to your phone and then when we have, if you have an iOS, you can easily upload that to Job Nimbus. And like we said with Android, that is coming. Mm -hmm. So once you, once the ability to upload photos uh, to the Job Nimbus mobile app is on, uh, is on the Android, Download it from company cam to your mobile device and then share it from your mobile device to the Android app. Remember, next week we are talking about checklists and filling. Hey, we're going to showcase some checklists in the web app and we're going to fill them out in the Android mobile app. So come back next week for that. We're going to give you some great ideas on how to build your own checklists. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining in. And thank you, Dustin, oh, for joining me. Here. This, was, yeah. this was awesome, and I love having you on. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. We'll come back next week. You're all awesome. See you next time. Have a great one.